Radio radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of something, March. Arnold told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? Weren't you paying attention? They're about to t launch ten waves of continuous attack. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to keep <laughs> addressing your defenses rather than make chit-chat. <laughs> the situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter us. Hey, nice so hair, dude. It's easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. I disagree. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. <sighs> Have you tried Sorry, contacting Herta? <laughs> I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. Aw, oh, that's like an interesting little... Uh, gosh, I'm gonna geek out about it, this. Um, how real that issue seems. Like, they don't need to include the fact that Herta sees this as just a warehouse for followers and, item and items and like... That she she just views these people as like just followers, like how a god would see its followers. Like, oh yeah, I have tons of those. Who cares about them? Like that they don't. That's not, that's not like a core part of the game, but like including that issue that like a Asta feels um, undervalued is like that's pretty deep. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. Sick. Let's do some warping, baby. Eh. Eh. I was gonna give us some pasta. Let's do one single pull for um, Kafka and see if we get as lucky as we did at the first 10 pull of um, Genshin. We did not. Let me see the full animation though. It's just gonna be like a light cone. Yeah. That's fine. Whatever. I don't even want her anyway. But we do have. Oh, I guess not yet. We have Serval, I guess. Why don't we have, um. Why don't we get. What's his face? Dr. Wacio. Okay. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll be fine. Um. Just got Serval. So let's do some more pulls, because we just got 20, uh. Standard pulls. Um. Yeah, because this one guarantees that we'll get a five star eventually. I guess the other one does too, but. Womp. Kasushang! And then. What is this? I've never seen this before. Oh, dance, dance, dance. I have seen that before. 
Um, oh, I can only do a ten pull here. Fine, I'm taking my tickets elsewhere. No, I'm not. We'll just... Cause... Um, sushing. So, I'm going to... Oh, what's going on with my screen? Okay. Got more mail. There we go. I was like... Now we got Dr. Ratio, baby. I think we're gonna maybe make a team based off, like, follow-up attacks. In your hands. Actually, let me check what if the... If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. Doing some quick research. Okay. Back, back on topic. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. How's the space station? Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. What's Asta like? My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. Owners of a big company. That's not an impression, that's just a fact. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. Alright. I'll leave you to get some rest. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I got the wrong person. Let me help. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Okay, guys. Up is spectrometer. Okay, so we'll remember that because spectrometer sounds like specter, and specters can float in the air, which is like, up. Down is the filter, because like, imagine if you're like, filling up a Brita filter, the water flows down into the filter, and then down into the basin. Um, left is the reference level. Um, 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 what's some weird way to connect left? <laughs> oh, level, left, same two <laughs> first le letters. Okay. And then attenuator. Um, ten is a right, is it, is it, is it ten, the number ten is an even number. <laughs> it's... We all know even numbers are on the right of something. I don't know. Let's go. Our pre-checks have three <laughs> steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. Up, right, down. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Got it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Up, right, down. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Damn. Wait, why didn't you just tell me to go up right down? Like, why do you have to be like, okay, up is this one, right is this one, down is this one, this one, left is this one. Okay, so we need to go this one, and then this one, and this one. You could have just said... Okay, never Abraham mind. Abraham was close to him. I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. Okay. We're gonna go talk to Abraham now? One of these days I'm gonna have a lore reading stream where we read through all the lore I collect as I play this game. That's for a different day. Yo, Abraham. I need to leave. I need to run from this forsaken 
No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday, I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857! Congratulations! You can count! I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle! Why? Uh, things will get better. Everyone keeps saying that! Things will get better, things won't always be- Oh, should I have bad. chosen the more poetic one? I guess he was being kind of negative, like- Positive, a negative of a negative is a positive! Okay, so, okay. Life is but a path to death, but not today. Inevitably comes to an end, but not today. That's not at all what I said. How insightful! Yes, of course! The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life! He said it really quietly, so in case the, like, recording didn't pick up, instead of saying life is but a path to death, he said, like, death is inevitable, but not today. Like, that's not what I said. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Okay. 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 Oh, give me them free pulls, baby. Oh, we get... Alright, Harta and Natasha for free... For doing shit. Okay, okay anyway, back to, um, Asta. Where's where I want to send go? Oh, whoa, okay, bad things. Oh. Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But let's go. Okay, still recording at least. Please don't crash. Communications. Are you thinking of going back? Well, let me remind you. That's the Doomsday Beast. The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. <laughs> but we can't just run away like this, right? <sighs> the Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. Wait, why? Huh? Hmm? She's that important? Wait, what, what, what happened in the 30 seconds between you meeting me and this point that you've determined what's special about me? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. Alright. What should we do next? No, legit. Why does she know what's up with me? Like, we met, f no kidding, like, in-game five minutes ago. This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Not to mention I've only existed for... Like, one system hour. <laughs> Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the Express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but... If the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Who the fuck is the Destruction's Emanator? Yeah. <laughs> the Destruction's Emanator? Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. 
No, you won't. I just want to go around. Oh, I just want to go to places. Ugh. Fine. Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, it's the platform. Oh yeah. Express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Oh, it's just telling me I got an achievement. Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Let's kill this thing! focus on I think this this core so I don't well this will okay we'll start with the hands because I'm pretty sure those are what do the damage the measure of truth and falsehood my turn zero grace I have something for you Desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Your answers? Test. My turn. Yeah. Ha. I would do that, not proc her. Uh... Get away. That. Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Dude, both your hands are frozen. You can't do that. That's not allowed. Time for an overhaul. Stop it. Say yes, knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Also, his finger is like long. His like pointer finger when he does that. Zero points. Let's go. You won't get away. I have something for you. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Answer me. Zero points. Uh, let's. Oh, I don't have the skill points to protect anyone. Rules are made to be broken. Let's break him. No. Nope. Okay, we're good. I was worried that we might kill someone. Your answers? Test. Yeah. Easy. Oh. Okay. No. Oh. Shit, we did. 
I don't know why it's lagging so much. No, stop lagging. You see the cutscene. Mr. Yang, is she? They're okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. I have played like every, almost everything there is in this game and I still don't know what the fuck happened there. Like they explain it but I just don't remember. <laughs> Either don't remember or just didn't make any sense. Is this... Is this oh. The space station? Hi. Hi. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. You can rest easy now that the threat from the Legion has been neutralized. Did we win? Well, this invasion seems to be nothing more than a random provocation. As soon as the Doomsday Beast fell, the Legion retreated. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. By the way, um, what's your beacon address? That way, if anything happens, I can contact you. Oh, Dan Hung asked for my number. You and Dan Hung exchanged phone numbers. Go see Himiko when you have the time. She said she had something to discuss with you. Oh, man was just here though. Hi, this is Dan Hung. Remember to go find Himiko. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Well, I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. Also, I guess there's a lot of context missing in this story. Like, because as you run around, you pick up different, like, sheets and, like, lore. And I guess that's a lot of that kind of gives more context to everything about this space station and what it's all about. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? <laughs> Genius Society. Same thought. Alright, laugh it up. That old Xandar came up with the name. You think I like it? So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. And how in the world did Himiko know that? Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. The blue? Did someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. I also did not expect her voice to be like this. I thought she would be more like... Like nasally, I guess. I thought she'd be like, um... You're right. This little one's body truly is strange. And also way more like pompous. My name is Rin. All right, I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh, like that. Well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. Let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. 
Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. What's your price? Hmm. Well, this little twerp's pretty financially motivated. Oh, I like it. All right, give the poor child a break, Herda. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? Not my problem. I'm going to be shooting them into space. Uh, you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. That one. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers... Wait, what am I worried about? One and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. What? And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little thing <sighs> all the time. Perfect. Sorry, cracking my knuckles. Been a bad take of fun lately. Um... I'll think about Himiko's offer. Yes, give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let her have a talk with Asta first and decide for herself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. Okay. Oh. Um, she's right there. Hey, Vin, it's Herta. I need you for something good. Come to my office quickly. I'm waiting. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right next to me. Hi. I'm currently unavailable, and I won't be contacting you later. <laughs> I fucking love Herta. She's so silly. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> 